Could the state of public emergency in St. James add to overcrowding at police lockups in the parish? Is the question being asked in anticipation of the high number of citizens usually detained under the enhanced security measure? Jamila Maitland explores the issue. There have been mixed reactions since Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced a state of public emergency in St. James Wednesday. On one hand, the security forces believe it will put a dent in the criminal activities in the parish. But it could also mean the detention of many Jamaicans, detention in the already overcrowded, unsanitary lockups. We asked Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson how he plans to address it. At the highest point, of a state of emergency uh, back in 2018, I believe it was, only 15% uh, of our entire lockup population, or 10% as a matter of fact, was actually in detention. The rest were there for remand, for all the other reasons that they're still there. Still, for the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, it spells trouble. A recently released report on deaths in police lockups revealed that 14 Jamaicans, all male, died while in police custody. The report said not only are the lockups being used to hold citizens long term, but the police are forced to attend to seriously ill persons, both of which are major concern. The Indicom report, if you look at it thoroughly, just 14 people over pretty prolonged period. In fact, we have one of the lowest levels of death in, in, in lockups or in prison in the region. The deaths in question occurred between 2021 and 2022. People are sometimes detained who are ill, and you can have incident where they die. I think we looked through the, I in fact read the report thoroughly, and there was nothing in there to suggest negligence by the police officers. But the report did cite negligence. In fact, 24-year-old Rika Brevet died after being stabbed by another detainee at the Negril police lockup in 2021. He was involved in a fight earlier, but the absence of a proper reporting mechanism during shift change resulted in another police officer releasing all the detainees for the usual shower time. He was killed. This death was likely a preventable one because what happened was the new shift, unaware of the incident, and had no records recorded of the matter, let both prisoners out unattended to the washroom shower area where one of the prisoners stabbed the other and killed him. Major Anderson described the deaths as unfortunate. He said the police will be ensuring that only those who need to be in custody are detained to reduce overcrowding in the cells. And as it relates to police officers having to take care of sick detainees, it is a challenge for us and it actually diverts quite a bit of resources to just manage that many prisoners. Jamila Maitland, TVG News.